Yebsano is hoping to save the world one step at a time. Believing he'll make more of a difference, he quit his job as the Philippines' top climate envoy to lead a grassroots movement. Yeb is heading a people's pilgrimage, a series of treks that will culminate in a 60-day hike to Paris for a United Nations summit in December. World leaders are expected to negotiate a new treaty to contain climate change, and the pilgrimage is aimed at making sure they do. We are going to connect the whole world and send a, a powerful, loud message to world leaders that we are many and that we care about uh, the, the, the governments and industries of the world finding a solution to the climate crisis. The Philippines is on the front lines of this crisis. In 2013, Super Typhoon Haiyan hit the Philippines with the strongest winds ever recorded on land, killing more than 7,000 people. Yeb is determined to sound the alarm that this will be the new normal. The science is becoming clearer into focus. Climate change will bring about more intense storms in the future. Uh, and these storms uh, will, have, will, have, will be unprecedented in terms of intensity, in terms of magnitude, in terms of the, the risk that people face. Yeb's global odyssey will take him to many places that are particularly vulnerable to climate change, including cyclone-devastated Vanuatu and Australia's Great Barrier Reef. Tens of thousands of people are expected to join Yeb for the final stage of his march into Paris, in what he hopes will be a moral show of force.